Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to the how to downgrade your official Android 10 update to official Android Pie. As few users might be facing issue related to the fingerprints, uh, pin, face unlock and so on. So they might be thinking that how now they will be going to downgrade. So let's proceed with that particular functionality. So for this particular thing, I have already created a dedicated article on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below so that you can go over the same afterward. So basically nothing major has been mentioned here. It few instructions that how you can downgrade from official Android 10 to Android Pie. Basically it is a full update of 1.52 GB approximately, which will downgrade your phone to version 407 that is Android 10 to version 059 Android Pie. Important note, this is only applicable for the Android 10 version 400 or I would say 407. Afterward, download, downgrade method, download the file listed below from the official ASUS. After, after downloading it, keep it in your external uh, device or I would say drive like micro SD card or OTG pen drive. And if you want to go more into depth, then we have already provided you official ASUS support article as well and you can uh, look into that as well. So once you download that particular file, you have to transfer to your external drive. So I have already downloaded that file and also moved that, that to my ex internal or I'm sorry, external storage that is micro SD card so that I can cut down the time. So this is that particular file. So it will be like this UL ASUS X00 or I would say 00T WW16.2017.1901.13.999 user zip. So basically this will downgrade from uh, your current Android 10 to Android Pie. So afterward, you just have to uh, move to the recovery partition uh, or I would say stock recovery. So for that, we have to reboot our system or I would say reboot our phone. So let's do it and, and boot into the recovery mode. So finally, we have been booted to the stock recovery mode or I would say recovery mode. So here what you have to do, you have to use power key buttons and uh, volume key button. So for uh, traversing up and down, you have to move volume key and volume down so i'm pressing volume down to go below so here you have to tap apply update from external storage this one so afterward just tap on power button to select it and once you will be uh, like confirming it afterward it will list out all the micro sd content so basically we have to select the very first file that we have discussed uh, that is 190 uh, and then 13.9 at triple nine. So I am just going to select it here and afterward I'll just be tapping on power button. So it will take some time. So have some patience and wait till the time it will complete it and we'll come back afterward. So finally that particular downgradation process has completed its task. Now we are good to go with the reboot system now, but before that we have to do one uh, like one or two more things, but I'll do this afterward because I want to show if you won't do what you will be facing. So at this moment, I'm going to reboot the system and system will reboot and afterward you will get one error. So I'll show you that as well so that it, it can rectify, uh, like it can clarify your doubts as well. So let's wait. So this will be the error that you will be facing if you won't be doing the next two steps that I'm going to do after this. So whenever you will be following this update, you don't have to go uh, reboot your system after uh, downgrading. You will just directly be uh, doing the another two step that I'm going to do now. So here it is asking for pin if you have a, like if you have a, if you will be entering your correct pin again it will not be uh, able to proceed further so for that you have, you have to again boot into the recovery mode restart then recovery mode so let me tell you one thing basically whenever you will be downgrading your uh, like os from android 10 to android Pie, it will delete all the internal storage so please keep a backup of that as well before doing that so now again we have to do one two more parts the very first part would be to do the factory reset. So let me zoom it and so for this I am again using my power key button sorry, sorry, and volume key button for, with the volume key button I am first going to select wipe data factory reset and afterward I will be tapping on power button and now it is asking do you want to wipe all yes. Now it is formatting data and doing everything afterward again you have to do one more operation that is wipe cache partition 
so just uh, like again use uh, volume keys and afterward just press on the power button and click yes to confirm it once it will be successfully done and you will be viewing these uh, like successful methods just go and tap on like uh, power button again to reboot system now and this time you won't be facing any problem related to the password that we were facing although whenever you will be implementing this particular step do all the three steps simultaneously rather than me uh, but i have followed i have just followed this for your convenience to show if you won't be doing what will be the uh, consequences or what will be the error you will be facing afterwards So finally, uh, our phone has been successfully booting. So encryption has been started and uh, all though. So let's wait till that time we directly boot into the home screen or I would say login screen. Again, this downgrading process was uh, as a part of factory reset or hard reset. So again, full phone setup process will, will be preceded. So let me complete this part and we'll move afterward. And in the meantime, it has also uh, prompted us a successful system update, successfully updated the system to PKQ1, whereas in Android 10, it was QKQ1 with the version 059. So we have finally uh, successfully downgraded to the version 059 that is Pi based from the Android 10 version 407. So finally, we have successfully downgraded. Let me confirm you the build number as well. So I'm just going to settings and after that system, then about phone and then this is a build number that is PKQ1, WW phone and so on. So earlier we were on Android 10, now we have successfully downgraded to the Android Pi version or I would say Android 9. So all in all, uh, we have successfully downgraded our phone. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.